हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियरिंग एजुकेशन प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल थैंक यू इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व प्रॉब्लम 3.3 फ्रॉम चैप्टर नंबर 3 रिवर्सिबल एंड इरिवर्सिबल प्रोसेसेस फ्रॉम द बुक अप्लाइड थर्मोडायनेमिक्स बाय टीडी स्टॉप एंड मिकोंकी द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट इज ऑक्सीजन मोलर मास 32 किलोग्राम पर किलो मोल एक्सपेंड्स reversibly in a cylinder behind a piston at a constant pressure of 3 bar the volume initially is 0.01 cubic meter and finally it becomes 0.03 cubic meter the initial temperature is 17 degree centigrade calculate the work input and the heat supplied during the expansion assume oxygen to be a perfect gas and take cp as 0.917 किलो जूल पर किलोग्राम पर किलो वन सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल राइट द गिवन डेटा वी हैव गिवन द मोलर मास दैट इज 32 किलोग्राम पर किलो मोल pressure is 3 bar and this is isobaric process if we want to plot this thermodynamic process on pv diagram so we can do that this is the p pressure and this is the volume axis so this is constant pressure expansion process this is step 1 and this is step 2 this is step 1 and this is step 2 here the volume is v1 while the volume over here is v2 so the pressure is same at point 1 and point 2 p1 is equal to p2 initially the volume is 0.01 cubic meter v1 is 0.01 cubic meter at this point and finally at state 2 volume becomes v2 and it is 0.03 cubic meter the initial temperature at this point is t1 and it is 17 degree centigrade or it is 290 kelvin we are required to find the work input and heat supplied while taking cp is equal to 0.917 किलो जूल पर किलोग्राम पर किलो इन दिस प्रॉब्लम टू थिंग्स आर रिक्वायर्ड टू फाइंड फर्स्ट वर्क इनपुट एंड सेकंड इज द हीट सप्लाइड ड्यूरिंग एक्सपेंशन that is q so to find the work input for this process from 1 to 2 as it is pressure process so we can write the work expression for constant pressure process w is equal to w from 1 to 2 is equal to p into v2 minus v1 minus sign will be here by default as we have discussed it in chapter 1 number 1 problems so here 
putting the values from work from 1 to 2 is equal to P is 3 bar. So converting it to Pascal, we will multiply 10 is power 5 into V2 is 0 0.5. 0 0.03 cubic meter while V1 is 0 0.01. So simplifying this, the work done during expansion process comes out minus 6 kilojoule. So this is the work done during this process, isobaric process from 1 to 2. Now to find the heat supplied during this process, for that we know that it is a constant pressure process. So P1 is equal to P2. So if we write the characteristic equation for state 1, it will become P1 V1 is equal to Mr T1. Similarly, if, if we write the state equation for state 2, that will be P2 V2 is equal to Mr T2. So P1, if we eliminate P1 from this, it will become Mr T1 by V1. Similarly, if we write the expression for P2, it will become Mr T2 by V2. So, if left hand side are equal to each other, then right hand side will also be equal to each other. So, we can write this Mr T1 over V1 is equal to Mr T2 over V2. So, Mr is constant in both. So we can write and rearrange this equation for T2. So T2 is equal to T1 over V1 into V2. So putting the values T1 is 290, V2 is 0 0.03 and V1 is 0 0.01. So simplifying this, the value of T2 comes out at 70 kilo 1. Now to find the mass of oxygen that is required to calculate the heat supply during the expansion process. For that again we can use this simple expression as used for state 1. So if we want to find the value of M from that expression, so this expression will become M is equal to P1 V1 over R T1. So R is required here. We can find R value from R bar by M bar. R bar value is given and it is known to us and it is 8314.3 over 32. So the value of R in this case is 259.82 joule per kilogram per kilowatt. So now putting the values in this expression M will become P1 is given 3 bar 10 to the power 5, V1 is given which is 0 0.01, R value is calculated 259, M T is 290. So if we simplify this, the value of M comes out 0 0.0. 398 kilogram. Now to find the value of Q that is the heat supplied during this expansion process for that 
we can write that Q is equal to M C P T2 minus T1. The value of M is calculated, putting the values, it is 0 0.0398 kilogram, while CP value is 0 0.917 kilojoule per kilogram per kilo one and T2 is at 70 minus T1 is 290 so simplifying this we get the value of Q and it comes out 21.18 kilojoule so this is the solution of part 2. We found two values in this problem. The value of work input and the heat supplied during the expansion process. So this is all about the solution of problem 3.3. Thanks for watching. Please like and comment on my videos, also subscribe my channel to get new videos.